All right, so this is the final installment of the Grail Quest 2014. This battle is between the Beastmen and the uh, Empire, uh, 2,500 points. Now, I've been waiting for this matchup all tournament long. All right, Beastmen have a lot of uh, counters towards uh, against Empire, believe it or not. Um, the cannons don't matter because uh, we have giant hordes. Um, your halberdiers don't matter because they're just like our Ungor, and they're worse than gore, and... Um, you know, uh, steam tanks don't matter. Uh, he has uh, he had gotten chain lightning, uh, Uranus thunderbolt, ice uh, shard blizzard, and wind blast as his spells. And I got um, Occam's mind razor, miasma, um, pit of shades, uh, transformation of Kadon, uh, plus one strength, plus one toughness. Um, the uh, the signature spell for beast and some other good spells. But anyway, uh, here's the deployment. He has a uh, cannons cannon sitting on top of the hill and next to the cannon I believe that might be a, dr a dragon and down at the bottom there he has a unit of three demigriffs um, next to that is a steam tank and behind the, behind the steam tank is an archer unit with this source, level four sorcerer in it and he has a cannon and next to the uh, next to that he has a um, unit of about 40 halberdiers maybe 50 and beside the 50 halberdiers is a knight unit uh, and here's another view. I'm not really scared of the steam tank. I have Bestigor to deal with that. Hopefully that they do better than they did against the uh, Doom Wheel. And um, at, for the for the, his units, his his main unit is a Halberdier to have the gore for that. And the Mantigor, I can use that to redirect his units. And the Bestigor to tear up the Knight unit. So two in one purpose for the Bestigor. All right, and over here I have 50 gore and um, a bunch of other units. Here's the first turn. I moved the uh, Fin Beast forward. So I moved the Fin Beast forward. I'm thinking maybe I can get the Fin Beast in close co in contact with the uh, Steam Tank and I can stall the Steam Tank because that's all I need is a little bit of time. And um, whatever I want to do is going to happen over here. Um, you see how he angles his knights here? That's how he angled them at the beginning, I believe. Um, and I'm really not. Uh, too afraid of his magic. I think he tries to use Thunderbolt and he, he doesn't really do anything to the Fin Beast. In my turn, I fly. Oh, this still might be my first turn. I fly over here with the Magic Ore uh, in, behind the woods because the Steam Tank, I mean, you, you can fire through the woods, but well, you can't really fire through the woods. You can't, the, the cannon can't bounce through the woods. So that none of that measuring from the rear of the model and bouncing through it hitting the model because I'm behind the woods. So you can't bounce through the woods. So you gotta be extremely accurate. And I move my uh, best to go up into the, on the right. Um, I want the best to go to get in close combat with his knights because I know the best to go is tear him up because his knights, I mean, at maximum, they might be putting out 18 attacks, maybe. But the best to go are putting out like 30 attacks and they're taking away all armor. But here's another view of the, uh, of the uh, fin beast moving up the field. Uh, he move, he tries to charge his uh, Capacis into the Fin Beast, and he fails his charge by quite a bit. He needed a, a large tor charge. I think he knew what I was doing. He moved the Steam Tank up so he can get an angle on the uh, Fin Beast, on the, uh, the Manticore, and um, whatever. You know, I really don't care if you kill it or not. I mean, as long as you're not barreling that Steam Tank into my lines, I don't care. He... Um, he also tries to charge the Fin Beast with his uh, with the Demigriffs, and he fails to charge. So that was awesome. Um, I didn't pay attention to this, but I think the next in the next phase he actually fires Uranus Thunderbolt and hits the uh, the Harpies. And he was actually uh, they were actually obscured behind that building, so there's no way he had Arc of Line of Sight. So I wasn't paying attention. Oh, what can you do though? The tournament's over now. I, I really, I mean, you can't go back to the pictures during a tournament. But anyway, and I believe he tries to charge the uh, the harpies. No, he didn't try to charge. He did try to charge the harpies with the dragon. And that's why he hit him with the thunderbolt, I guess. Um, I mean, that dragon really doesn't bother me all that much. I'll I'll have time enough to figure out something to do with it. But here's another view of it, um, the terrain and all that stuff. Looks really nice. And um, I, he moved in his turn. He moves the steam tank forward, and um, he actually only had two 
he made two steam points, and then those two steam points are used to move the steam tank. And so he couldn't really do anything after that. Um, and he changes the facing of his knights um, because I, I'm going to try to move the manticore around and beside the knights so they can't see him, but at the same time uh, threaten the flank of the knights because the thing has kill and blow and it has at least five attacks. So he should get one kill and blow and it should kill a knight or two. But that's not my real target. My real target is to get behind uh, his lines and mess with his cannons. Um, in my turn, I move the Fin Beast up a little bit more. Now I'm going after, I've, I've changed my mind, I'm going after his wizard, his level 4 wizard. And here's a view of the Manticore on the outside of his uh, Arc of Line of Sight. Um, I actually want to get back there and get to his wizard and kill the wizard. That's my target with both of those units, the Fin Beast and the Manticore. And so the best of Gore move forward. I'm going to give him another target for his cannon to think about. Um, I really want to get that Manticore in the back and kill his wizard with it. Um, but that's probably not, that's not going to happen. As you will soon see, uh, the best of Gore have strength 6 and they're minus in 5 off of armor because of the total rust. Okay. Um, he does generate some more steam points and he turns towards the Manticore to shoot it. And he charges the... Uh, he charges the Fin Beast with the Captuses. So I'm thinking that the Fin Beast should live against the Captuses, should kill him. All right. And he turns his nice to face the Manticore. Which actually made it harder for him to hit the uh, Manticore with the cannon. And a little caveat here. There's another Beastman player at the tournament, and so I'm trying to get best in the race, so I have to do better than him. And then at this point, somebody came to me and said he lost his last game and got tabled. So I was excited. I was like, yeah, it's my chance. And then he hits my, then the guy turns around, the other guy on the side of the table, he turns around and hits my Manticore in the face and does six wounds on him. And I'm like, okay, now I have to fight because now I'm fighting for best in the race for Beastman at the Grail Quest. I push forward my Ungor trying to get around this building and uh at the close combat with the uh, manticore with the beast and the uh and the captuses he does a wound to the beast um i pull the ungo around the building in my turn so that should be uh pretty cool and then i miscast and i do a wound on each sorcerer and the only thing i was doing was trying to boost up the toughness of the uh well of the ungo and uh, that's what happened. I should have just not cast that spell. I mean, I don't know why I was casting it, but um, I won't do that again. And here's another look. Um, he generates two steam, tanks, tank, two steam points in his turn again, and uh, he's going to end up charging into the Bestigor, and that's going to be a missing uh, picture. Uh, here's the missing picture. All right, so he charged, he charged the Bestigor in that, and he does a couple of wounds to the Bestigor in the grind. And then the best to go in close combat, do four wounds to the steam tank. And then in my turn, I actually charge the ungore into the flank of the steam tank. Um, sorry about the missing picture. All right, we're back to the game. All right, so the captain is still locked with the fin beast. And um, he actually miscasted with his wizard and blew apart his unit. And then the wizard got sucked into the warp. So now he has no level four and we're about to make some money. All right, and in close combat, the uh, Ungor, I charged the Ungor into the flank and I casted an Auckland's Mind Razor on them. So they were strength nine against the steam tank on the flank and the best of war were negating, pretty much negating all the armor of the steam tank. And this is what happened. I killed the, uh, I killed the uh, steam tank in my turn and then I turned to face, uh, face the uh, halberdiers. <laughs> Ungor at strength nine, you gotta love it. I'm hoping he charges my knight, my um, Bestigor with his knights, and then the Ungor with his other unit, and uh, so the Bestigor can tear through that unit, reface. Uh, in his close combat, he uh, he finishes up on the uh, on the well, he he puts another wound on the Fin Beast, and he charges. Well, he charges the uh, archers in, and he puts a wound on the Fin Beast, and he does exactly what I wanted him to do. He charged his knights into the uh, Bestigor and he charged his uh, halberdiers into the Ungor. And after I casted um, um, a spell on his uh, main unit there, he charges uh, his knights into the Bestigor, exactly what I wanted to happen. 
Um, by the way, Enfeebling Foe was cast on the uh, Halberdier unit. Um, and over here in close combat, the, um, the Gore put two wounds on the dragon. And um, he ends up killing my, my uh, sorcerer in close combat. No, he doesn't kill him yet. That happens uh, later. Um, but the uh, Fin Beast is dead. So, um, that's, that, doesn't so that doesn't prove to be a problem. Um, and I do a wound on one of his demigriffs. Um, in his turn, when he came charging in. And I, I made my test do uh, steadfast, so. And here's another look at the enfeebling foe on the Ungor. The Ungor, um, they do a, they do about four or five wounds to the uh, Halberdier unit. Um, they just need to hold there long enough for the best of gore to come and hit them on the flank. Um, the best of gore in close combat, they rolled for Primal Fury and they got double ones. So they were frenzied and then they um, had to, you know, they, they rerolled their attacks at strength six minus and five of the armor. So I destroyed the unit and I had to make a hard decision. Do I chase after the, the general or do I go and just demolish that unit? And I wanted to make sure I got the points for that unit over the general because uh, his general wasn't that expensive. And over here, I cast um, Auckland's Mind Razor on the gore and the gore. Um, and then I cast, uh, I think it was minus one to weapon skill onto his demigriffs. So the gore were hitting on threes and they were um, wounding on twos. And they were you know, they were tearing up armor. I mean, strength eight. I mean, they're, I believe they took it, what, what's, this was at five, minus five to armor. And they went, they, they're going to go to town and they're going to beat these, dem, uh, these demigriffs pretty badly. Um, but he does kill my uh, sorcerer before, before st everything goes down. He kills my, my level four um, of uh, shadow in close combat. And he kills a couple of gore. Um, I think, what was that, three? Three gore? Which I'm okay with. Um, I went ahead and let him swing first. He, I think our initiative is the same. It, uh, I think the actual demigriffs are actually faster. But I clear out the demigriffs. They're all dead. And um, he, it's actually, I think it actually panics the dragon, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, the dragon ends up getting run down. Uh, but uh, yeah, that was awesome. It was. It came out to like almost 25, 30 uh, strength eight attacks. You roll in a hit, and then the, when the best of gore done there, we go back to close combat, and that's what the best of gore do to that unit. I kill his main unit of uh, ungor that I turn, and then in my turn, I charge in the ungor. And those two characters and a cannon is pretty much what's left of his army on the on the battlefield. The beastmen walk away with this one a, a solid victory um, in what uh, had proven to be a tournament in which I thought that I couldn't get anything done right. Um, here's some more pictures here. Um, this is the dragon get, being run down. <clears throat> Congrat uh, I, I, I salute my opponent. Um, he took it with stride. I, I, you know, it was. I mean, even here, the Ungor actually beat the, uh, the the Capsus and killed him in close combat, which is amazing. Um, I, I, I tip my hat to my opponent. <clears throat> it was a fun game. Uh, he had a well-painted army. Uh, beastmen just do well against uh, Empire because we don't have a lot of armor, so cannons don't really count. We don't have monsters in for sure, so we don't really we're not scared of that. Um, I actually won best in uh, best beastmen. Um, Best in uh, show for the Beastmen. Best in race. So I felt good about that. So I walked away with something out of this tournament, not just tears. Uh, if you like what you've uh, heard uh, and seen, subscribe and comment.